All right, I'm taking a look right here at the energy of the full moon slash lunar eclipse slash conjunction Jupiter that happens um, on Saturday. So by the time anyone sees this, I guess this will be today. Anyway, um, just taking a look at the energy that's, you know, kind of around with this. And the root card here is the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is showing an opportunity to mentally separate from some bullshit, right? And it's like, it's a, it's a grounding sort of thing where the energy goes back into the body. But the Four tends to happen when all of the energy has been happening pretty high in the head. And we kind of can't get out of our heads. So the four is an opportunity to bring that energy back down um, just so we can let our heads rest for a second. Now, as this uh, chain reaction happens, first we have the justice card. And the justice card is really about seeing situations without emotional bias. There's like... Um, an equilibrium that happens, um, but the justice card is truly fair. So if there's something, especially something that has been fucking with your head, the justice card is going to allow you to see that situation without emotional bias. Now, that moves directly into the chariot, and the chariot is about being very clear about where you're going. And um, it's usually about short-term achievable goals, just so you know which direction you're going, but it's specifically moving forward. And as that energy moves forward, it moves into the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords is kind of an echo of the Justice card here, because the King of Swords does not rule based on emotion. They rule based on intellect and fucking tact and all of this stuff. Um, it's interesting that these are both very much sort of intellectual cards. And the Four of Swords is about taking energy away from the head and bringing it back down into the body. But it's almost like the head has to be reset, right? And it kind of has to rest in order to be reset. So we have this fairness and then that kind of gives the focus and the direction. And the King of Swords is the ability to make decisions um, not based on emotion, but making uh, intellectual decisions, we'll say. I always see the King of Swords as being um, Jean-Luc Picard. Uh, from Star Trek, like he, he doesn't make decisions based on emotion. And that's why he's such a good leader. Um, let's just see if there's anything else that wants to come out here. Um, whoop. We also have a seven of cups. Wow. That's, that's interesting because the Seven of Cups is artistic expression and this is about getting more deeply in touch with your emotions. Now, this is the way that this makes sense to me. Now, as you are able to bring the energy back down into your body, now maybe that allows you to get deeper in touch with your emotions or to express them in some way. And then when the energy goes back up into your head, it's like the head has been reset. So you can see things clearly after um, anxiety or just like too close of a connection doesn't allow you to see it clearly. But through this process, here is this kind of restful phase, but it looks like artistic expression would be really good in this period of time as well. So I guess I, well, I'm going to pull one more just to see if there's any pitfalls because we are looking at an eclipse. So let's see if it brings with it any doom. 
and we've got a couple that want to come out. Um, the Eight of Cups, so it is the one that comes right after the Seven. But the Eight of Cups is about letting go of old toxic shit. And I don't know which side that wants to be on. Um, right. So to me, is there a pitfall that comes with this? This would say no, not at all. Now, I'm thinking that this is talking about shit that's buried or shit that's kind of down there, kind of deep. And here, it's an opportunity to fucking let it go and to walk away from this emotional trash that we've been carrying around and that moves forward into the death card, which is super powerful transformation, but it is the ability to let go of an old pattern in order to make room for a new one. So overall, this looks pretty good. And there, there is one key in here, and that is kind of to allow your mind to reset. And uh, to do that, just try to willfully bring the energy down into your body, even if it's not for a long period of time. It can be just a moment, and a moment might be all you need. But just let your brain fucking chill for a little bit and, uh, yeah, go from there. But that's what we have for now, and peace.